Hello everyone and welcome back to biology. Today we're going to continue with lesson number 23 which is structure and function of higher plants. Okay so we learned about ferns and mosses last class and um, just so you guys get an idea um, ferns would be considered higher plants. Okay now what does a plant need to be considered a higher plant? Um, three things all higher plants must have. It must have a stem. It must have leaves. And it has to have leaves. Now, for a plant to be considered a higher plant, it has to have all three of those things. Okay? So, do you remember what mosses did not have? Did not have leaves and it did not have roots. And I'm pretty sure that what grew was not considered a stem. But, nonetheless, um, all plants look different, even higher plants. There are some higher plants that are more complex. That means that they're made differently. That means that they process food differently, create food for themselves differently, um, move things in and out of it differently, just work differently overall, but still considered under the same category of higher plants. Okay? We're going to go more into that next class as to um, a couple more complex higher plants. But for today, I want you guys to take a note of this. And for your assignment, I want you to give me an example of a higher plant, a specific higher plant. So remember, it has to have leaves, a stem, and roots. So get to thinking on it. Draw me a picture, kind of like mine. Can't be my picture though. Can't be mine. I already drew this one. So be creative with it. Um, label it just like I did. And if you have any questions on it, please do not hesitate and ask. I'm here to help. Hope you all have a very wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.